after seizure of illegal arms originating from China. India has sought details from Thailand and Malaysia. China is smuggling ammunition into Myanmar. Royal Thai Army had intercepted the consignment. India's envoy to Thailand has sought details on the probe. Rishabh Gulati, Managing Editor of NewsX, is joining us uh, with the very latest on this story. Rishabh, uh, take us through these uh, breaking updates emerging. Report that has been published in the Thai press, indicative that there has been an arms haul that has been recovered by the Royal Thai Army, in which uh, there have been the arrests of Thai and Myanmarese arms smugglers. They've recovered 33 M16 and AK-47 rifles. They've recovered grenade launchers, ammunition, as well as machine guns. Now, this uh, recovery that has happened comes on the backdrop of the Indian ambassador in Thailand holding a key meeting with uh, governors of a province as well as uh, 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 police chiefs uh, at this point of time. Now, while the full details of what was discussed in that meeting is not yet known, just a few weeks ago, the Myanmar government had publicly confirmed that they suspected the Chinese state of supplying arms and ammunition to something called the Arakan Army that operates in the north part of Myanmar and, amongst other things, is, uh, uh, is considered a force that is not only targeting Myanmar but also targeting India. Now, in 2015 June, India had conducted, as you might recall, Uday, a surgical strike uh, on the NSCNK outpost that had been created in North Myanmar after they ambushed our Javans in the Northeast. We know that Myanmarese territory has been used in the past, and we have long suspected, and to some uh, instances we have credible proof and intelligence that the weapons for the insurgency forces in the Northeast have long been supplied by the Chinese. Now, if the bona fides and the whereabouts of this arms shipment that was supposed to be smuggled into Myanmar can be established and proven, we would, want, we would have credible evidence against the Chinese supplying forces that are seeking to wage war against India. This would be indicative of support for proxy secessionists and proxy terrorists. And the Chinese have to be held to account now for the proxy war that they're raging. We know what they're doing in Ladakh. We know what they're doing in Kalwan. We know what they're doing on the Indochina border. We now need to clearly expose what the Chinese are doing in other places. How they, the Pakistanis and Chinese supply uh, weapons or have supplied weapons, uh, currency, funding to Maoist forces in India, how they supplied weapons and funding to secessionist forces in the Northeast. Uh, this now needs to be revealed. So we are, of course, hoping uh, that an investigation by the Royal Thai Army will not be influenced by China and they will actually reveal what exactly were a, was a large arms shipment, an illegal arms shipment from China, where it was going and who it was intended for. All right, uh, Rishabh, stay with us. In fact, we have uh, Major General A.K. Sivaj also joining us at this point, defense analyst on the broadcast. Major General Sivaj, uh, your first reaction to this news coming in of uh, the, uh, the uh, you know, illegal arms uh, ammunition, which of course has been uh, uncovered and intercepted, but also now India seeking details on the probe. India uh, wanting to be abreast of the probe into this uh, big arms hall. Uh, no, as far as these arms are coming, possibly uh, the Chinese are trying to send these uh, arms illegally to uh, Myanmar. This has been going on for some time because the uh, local militant groups, including uh, Arakan and the army, was getting a lot of weapons from uh, China. And they are all illegal, possibly coming through Malaysia and through Thailand. And this is the route which is being adopted by, by the Chinese to uh, smuggle uh, illegal weapons in Myanmar. Now, this is very well known because the Myanmar government has already brought out this issue to Chinese government that there are a uh, lot of uh, illegal weapons which have been uh, coming to the um, basically the militant group like Arakan army and especially the western part of Myanmar.
Absolutely. Uh, stay with us, Major Sivach. Uh, Wing Commander Prakul Bakshi is also with us at this point, security analyst. Wing Commander Bakshi, uh, your initial comment, as General Sivach just said, you know, this is not something new, but the fact now that India is actively, uh, you know, meeting the Thai, uh, the, the, uh, our, our envoy in Thailand is, of course, meeting with concerned officials there, seeking details on this probe. Uh, how do you react to our stance over this issue? You see, the Chinese supply to both the places has been a very old uh, activity. It is not a recent activity, uh, ex except that uh, previously the regimes were very favorable to China. I do not know how the how much is the Myanmar regime now favorable to China, but at the moment there are a lot of factions which are against China. Otherwise, the, the rebels from Myanmar were being fed with, ch with Chinese weapons for a long time, and they were coming confronting our security forces um, on our, from our side. And there have been a number of very uh, serious uh, confrontations. If you remember, one of the confrontations was over two to three years back when we nearly did a sort of a strike-like thing, what we did in, uh, in Pakistan. Um, similarly, we did the similar thing here, what we did in POK. But the question is, this: how long will this continue? Because now Chinese have also realized that their, their, their acceptability of their system, acceptability of their ideology in this region is dwindling. And, and, and now with the present situation which is developed in South China Sea, the, the exit rate of dwindling, uh, dwindling rate has increased. Now China is being dropped from their basic psych and basic planning. As you will see, by the next two or three months, you will see uh, more and more um, things will come, uh, news will come, where Chinese arms are being rejected or Chinese approachment is being re rejected or Chinese overtures are being rejected. Oh. Absolutely. Uh, and, uh, you know, let me bring back Wing Commander Bakshi at this point. Uh, uh, so, sorry, uh, uh, Major General Sivaj at this point. Major General Sivaj, now clearly, of course, uh, you know, what's this is nothing new, as you said. This trade has been happening. This illegal, uh, you know, weapon smuggling has been going on for quite a while. But do you believe that this assertive India is something which is also, uh, you know, a new aspect to this entire matter after the Galvan Valley clash? India has indicated it will not be business as usual with uh, China anymore. And to that extent now, we are in fact, uh, you know, seeking an active uh, report on the probe, what Thailand is doing about it, what the details are that are emerging to ensure that it's a free and fair probe, to ensure that China obviously does not uh, pressurize this probe. Uh, do, you, do you hail this new assertive India? And I agree with you, Bude. What is happening is that the India will put tremendous pressure on Thailand and on uh, Malaysia that they must carry out a very transparent and objective uh, inquiry and let the truth prevail. See, as far as China is concerned, the two, three more issues stay there. You remember they have built up a road uh, which is coming from Yunnan and going to Kuwa Kapu in Myanmar in the Khain province where there is a deep sea port. That, uh, you know, was uh, slightly under the threat. They have given themselves uh, help and weapons to Arakan terrorist militant group so that they can provide the security to this uh, road. You know, see, they are providing weapon to militant group to buy the security the way they were trying to do in China-Pakistan economic corridor in Balochistan, which did not succeed. So same way they were trying to do it here. And this was, uh, this was exposed. And whereas... The road which we are making it uh, coming uh, from Swate to coming to Imphal, uh, you know, that was under a continuous threat because uh, the terrorists and the uh, militant groups were targeting that, but not targeting the road which was built from Yunnan to Kuakapu because the deep sea port is being built by the Chinese. So this is what it is. Second issue is, as far as China is concerned, you know it, the history of NSCN and Ulfa earlier used to be all provided with uh, complete help by the Chinese and a lot of this militant group, uh, you know, leaders were staying in China. It was only in uh, somewhere in early part of uh, this century that they shifted their bases in, in Bangladesh uh, instead of uh, Myanmar or going to uh, China. 
because the china that time changed the stance but now again they start doing what they were doing earlier now whatever problem we are having in the ladakh it is very important for india to expose the true color of chinese and what chinese are getting involved this consignment which has been caught in in myanmar is caught by the thailand uh, police as well as in malaysia must be probed and investigation should be fair and it should be objective so that the truth prevail and china true color should be shown to the world as it is right. china today stand uh, you know isolated all over the world you know there is no friend except you can count on two the countries like pakistan north korea and to some extent iran due to their oh. own uh, region for more such videos subscribe to the newsx youtube channel hit the bell icon